What's up, Scorpio? And welcome to my channel. I hope all of my beautiful Scorpios out there are doing well. Ooh, some Scorpio. Excuse me. We're going to uh, pull some advice from Spirit for you guys, okay? So if anything resonates, don't forget to like this video, subscribe to my channel. Also, comment. Let Blue Flame know what's going on. And if you're interested in a personal, I will have my email in the description box below, okay? All right, Scorpio, let's go. So the first card that came out, Scorpio, is letting go can be difficult, but know that you are fully protected at this time, okay? So the energy I'm getting off this card, Scorpio, is some of you guys, it's like you know that you possibly need to let go of a situation. Like you've been thinking about it and you know deep down in your heart, you know you need to let go of someone or a situation message. But it's like you, it's been difficult, you know what I'm saying? Or you realize or you know once you let this person go, it's going to be very difficult for you to move on, okay? So I feel like you've still been holding on to this situation or this person because you don't want to go through that difficult spell, you know what I'm saying? You don't want to experience possibly some heartache and pain from having to let this person go. But you have to realize that you are fully protected, okay? So this talks about Scorpio, you're being divided divinely guided to let go of someone okay and, and while spirit is, is leading you or guiding you to let go of someone they're going to protect you as well okay all right messages from my scorpios let's get some advice from spirit messages from my scorpios spirit. time to go within okay some of you guys it could be time to go within okay possibly time to reflect Possibly after you let go of this situation, after you let go of someone, okay, it's going to be time to, like, take some time to yourself, okay, really reflect on this situation here. Hold on, you guys. Okay, my bad. I had to go see what the kids was doing. Anyway, so once you possibly let go of this situation, okay, spirit is wanting you possibly, like, to go into hermit mode, okay? And while you're in hermit mode, you need to possibly take time to reflect, understand like why you had to walk away why you had to let go of this situation this person this thing or whatever it is that you've been holding on to okay all right messages for my scorpio spirit messages for my scorpios give us advice for my scorpios i love you scorpio all right scorpio and then we have it's time to embrace your spiritual purpose okay some of you guys you have spiritual gifts okay you have been blessed with certain things on the spiritual realm. The spirit is saying it's time to embrace your spiritual purpose, okay? You have a you have those gifts because you have a purpose here on life. And spirit is saying it's time for you to walk, step into that purpose, okay? Embrace what you are here to do spiritually. Then we also have you cannot always have your way, Scorpio, okay? So remember, Scorpio, even though things may not go your way, you know what I'm saying? That doesn't mean, Scorpio, like you're being punished or you did something wrong. Like, remember, everything is not going to go your way, Scorpio, because we have to let go of control, okay? Scorpio, who doesn't like things to go their way, okay? A lot of times, Scorpio, we do. We do like to control or we like to be in control because we want it to go our way, okay? And I ain't thinking this is being as a bad thing, you know what I'm saying? But in, in a way, it can because it's like when you don't know how to let go of control, it's like you don't allow, you don't allow things to come to you, okay? All right, one more message from Spirit, and we're going to go ahead and get into this reading. Okay, Scorpio, so we have good news. It's coming your way, okay? So, Scorpio, there can be some good news that's going to be coming your way soon, Scorpio, okay? Let's see what this is or when this could be coming. All right, messages from my Scorpio Spirit. When could this good news be coming towards my Scorpio? All right, Scorpio, so we got the spring. I just split that, okay? So some of you guys, you can have some good news that's going to be coming towards you this spring, okay? And spring will be starting next month, you guys, okay? So after this uh, spring solstice, I mean not spring solstice, but once uh, the springtime starts, okay? And yes, Scorpio, this is going to happen, you guys, okay? So some of you guys, yes, there's going to be some good news, okay? Something's going to come your way, and you possibly may have to think about it. Think about what you want to do with this information that you're going to receive, okay? And for some of you guys, this good news or something to come towards you this winter, okay? Or, Scorpio, it can happen around the holidays, okay? All right, Scorpio. So, let's pull some messages here. Let's go to this J-Lo. All right, Scorpio. If anything resonates for you guys, don't forget to like this video, okay? Messages for my Scorpio. 
Ooh, Scorpio. Ooh. What messages do you have for my Scorpios today? Messages for my Scorpios. I love you, Scorpio. Messages for my Scorpio. Scorpio, this big. What messages do you have for my Scorpio today? All right. Messages for my Scorpios. All right, Scorpio. So someone wants to let you know, Scorpio, they wasted so much time being stubborn and not wanting to change, okay? So Scorpio, this could be your energy. Some of you guys, maybe you realize, and you know what I'm saying, that you have been wasting so much time. Things could have been further in your life, okay? If you were not stubborn, okay, and not wanting to change. Or Scorpio, someone here could be realizing, okay, that they've wasted so much time in their life because they're realizing how stubborn they are. And because they were so stubborn, Scorpio, this, this I feel like, kept them or it blocked a lot of changes from coming into their life, okay? And this is someone, Scorpio, that has been waiting for a new beginning, okay? So some of you guys, you possibly have been the one that's realized, okay, that you waste a lot of time in your life because spirit has been nudging you, pushing you to go towards things, okay? Embrace those spiritual gifts, okay? Start a business, get on that platform, do something here. But it's like you've been stubborn, not want to change. I want to change what you were doing because you realize, you know, what you were doing or what spirit wants to do, okay, it was going to take a little longer for that to get off the ground. And you're like, no, nah, God, I got to do this. I got this, you know, so I got bills. I got to pay this. Like, how am I supposed to do that, okay? Or, Scorpio, this could be someone that has been waiting for this new beginning or they're realizing the reason why they haven't had this new beginning is because they were not wanting to change, okay? They were being stubborn here. Y'all take it how it resonates. And this could be someone, Scorpio, that can't wait to share their life with you. So someone here, Scorpio, possibly has been waiting for some type of new beginning with you guys, okay? And they've been wondering, like, why the hell me and Scorpio ain't had this new beginning? Or Scorpio, you've been wondering, like, why me and such and such ain't had this beginning, right? But this is someone, Scorpio, that possibly has been wasting a lot of time, or they wasted so much time because they were being stubborn. They didn't want to change, you know what I'm saying? They wanted to keep doing the same shit that they was doing over and over again. But see, spirit, the universe is wanting this person to change their ways here, okay? And look at this, Scorpio. I can't make this up. God has his situation in this. God has his hand in this situation now, okay? So for some of you guys, you've been waiting for this new beginning. You know what I'm saying? This new start with someone. God had to put their hands in this situation because this is someone, Scorpio, they were just wasting too much time because they did not want to change, okay? This is someone very stubborn, Scorpio. Someone not willing or wanting to change their ways, okay? But this is someone now, I feel like, in the future, Scorpio, they're going to start learning to protect the people that they love, okay? Now, Scorpio, this is someone who wants to be with you. And I feel like, Scorpio, the reason why God had to step in and put his hand in this situation is because some of you guys, this is your divine counterpart. And see how this person was moving, how this person was acting. See, they weren't acting like your divine masculine, your divine feminine here. You know what I'm saying? They was acting, acting like that emperor in reverse or pages or whatever that wasn't divine. But see, this is someone, Scorpio, that's realizing that they want to share their life with you. But in order to share their life with you, you know what I'm saying, in order to be their emperor, they have to learn to protect people that they love. See, they didn't know how to be that emperor. You know what I'm saying? The emperor is like that father figure. You know what I'm saying? That person that's going to be that provider and also be that protector, okay? And Scorpio, you guys can be that emperor. You take it how it resonates, okay? Male or female. But this is someone that's realizing, Scorpio, that, you know what I'm saying, they were being stubborn. God was trying to get this person to change their ways, okay? This could have been someone in Scorpio experienced so much in their life. And it took this person a hard time to realize and understand why all these things were happening. Like, they feel like they were being cursed or, you know what I'm saying? Like, they were on punishment for doing something. And basically, they were, okay, because this is someone that was needed to change. They were needed to change their ways, to have this, to be this emperor, you know what I'm saying, to be this this father figure to be that person that you needed, Scorpio. And that's why you guys haven't had this new beginning with this person, okay? 
You are the only person that came along and changed my life. Yes, Scorpio, that's what I'm talking about. This is the divine counterpart, okay? Twin flames. Scorpio, you were the catalyst to, the, to this person's change. You know what I'm saying? This person would have continued doing the same old, same old that they were doing had you not come along, Scorpio, okay? For a lot of you guys with your twin, you don't understand, you know what I'm saying? In the end, yes, it is about you possibly being with your twin, but there is a very important lesson for you and for your counterpart. And Scorpio, you came into this person's life because you were here to change this person. But see, Scorpio, sometimes we feel like because we represent transformation, you know, we're just supposed to go out here and change everybody. See, that's not what we're supposed to do. Sometimes us just being in somebody's life for a short period of time or a long period of time or whatever, it's like we're that catalyst. We're, we're going to be like that, that we, you know what I'm saying, get that person, get the going, you know what I'm saying? We get them inches going to where this person be like, hold, to where they have that tower moment, that aha moment to where they realize, okay, I need to make some changes. So I feel like for my divine feminists, you guys, you took time. You went to reflect. You let go of people that no longer served you. And it's like you, you're standing in this different light. And I feel like this person, they see you in this different light. It's their divine counterpart. And they're realizing, okay, well, I'm going to be with my divine feminine here. I have to change. I have to work on myself, okay? And this is someone, Scorpio, they realize they cannot treat you the way that they did in the past. And that's why they stay away. So some of you guys, you haven't heard from this person, like I said, because you've changed. You know, you're not the same, okay? You stepped into this divine feminine energy, okay? You're stepping into your empress energy, baby, okay? And this person realized, Scorpio, they have to change. But they know that they can't treat you the same. You know what I'm saying? You're not going for that that you was going for in the past, okay? And this is the reason why this person stays away. This is the reason why this person chooses not to communicate with you. See, this person has a change. You know what I'm saying, Scorpio? They're still their low vibrational self. And see, the only way that this person knows how to operate or they know how to communicate with you is being their low vibrational self. And see, you're not that person no more, Scorpio. You're not going to accept that low vibrational communication. So... This person, you know what I'm saying? They're just, they just going to stay away from you. Messages for my Scorpio. Tell us more, Spirit. For some of you guys, you could be dealing with a Earth sign, Virgo, Taurus, or Capricorn. All right. Messages for my Scorpio, Spirit. Tell us more. Yeah. A lot of you guys, you stopped the, you stopped the cycle with this person. It was like a continuous cycle that you went through with, with this person over and over and over and over again. And see, God had to come in. He had to step in on your behalf and on this person's behalf, Scorpio, okay? And when he stepped in on your behalf, Scorpio, you set boundaries with this person, okay? Some of you guys, you wonder how you got the strength to walk away from this person because God had to step in, you know what I'm saying? God had to put his hand in this situation. And once he did, Scorpio, you realized it was time to stop these cycles. It was time to set some boundaries with this person, Scorpio. And you are spiritually protected at this time. For some of you guys, that is why this person has been staying away, okay? Because spirit has not allowed this person, you know what I'm saying? It's for some of you guys, you block this person. You wondering why you blocked and why you went through the streams that you went through because spirit wanted you to protect yourself from this person. You know what I'm saying? They didn't want this person just to keep on reaching out to you guys with the same old, same old energy because you have healed. And that wasn't fair to you, Scorpio, to keep dealing with the same old, same old when you changed, you healed. You know what I'm saying? And some of you guys, you could have felt like that this person that you were dealing with was your fate divine masculine. You know what I'm saying? You you knew this was your twin, but they were operating as your fate divine masculine. You know what I'm saying? This is someone, Scorpio, that did not step up to the plate. They didn't step up and be that divine masculine that you needed them to be, okay? A lot of you guys possibly have been mirroring each other, Scorpio. When you're sad, if you're missing this person, this is how this person is feeling as well, okay? Or if you're feeling certain emotions and feeling, Scorpio, you can be feeling this person's emotions and feeling. Scorpio, if you're on a twin flame journey, a lot of things that you've been going through in your life, this person has been going through a lot of things as well, okay? And this is someone, Scorpio, I can't make it up, okay? This person does not know how to face you, okay? Because they're not ready to speak their truth. They're not ready to be this person that you need them to be, Scorpio. They must stay away, okay? But you will be receiving closure, Scorpio, okay? Because whatever this person, Scorpio, they're living a lie, okay? They realize, Scorpio, they have been living a lie. And I feel like for a lot of you guys, they have been involved in a toxic connection, okay? They realize that they were toxic in this connection with you guys. And they realize, Scorpio, that they are involved in a toxic connection, okay? And whatever this 
connection in Scorpio, they realize that everything that they thought about that connection, Scorpio, it's a lie. You know what I'm saying? That's why this person, Scorpio, is going to come in and give you this closure, you guys, okay? All right, Scorpio. So let's see what signs we are talking about for Scorpio. What signs are we talking about, Spirit? I love you, Scorpio. Scorpio, ooh, Scorpio, we have heavy Gemini, heavy Gemini, okay? We got four dice, three out of four is Gemini, and the other one is Libra, okay? So heavy Gemini, heavy Libra here. Golly, heavy Gemini, you guys, heavy, heavy Gemini. We got Libra, we got Cancer, and we got Virgo here, okay? So heavy, heavy Gemini, you guys, Libra, Cancer, and Virgo. I love you, Scorpio, and until next time, stay blessed. Yeah. I'm okay, bro.